All right, so we are going to talk about hip mobility and your squat. Now there's a lot of components to it, but really good troubleshoot and what you want to look for is about 45 degrees of rotation either way. So that'd be external, this would be internal. In my case, this happened Monday when I was doing some squat snatches, my right hip will pinch unless I mobilize it and I have a hard time getting the depth of my right hip. My left hip moves a lot better. So this mobilization specifically for internal rotation. Then all you need is a barbell and a fluffy cloud. What you're gonna to wanna to do is slide the weight out on one end towards the end of the bar so that weight is sitting here. Then on your fluffy cloud, classic kneeling hip stretch. But what I wanna do is bias internal rotation a little bit. So what you're gonna do is roll that wheel out to one side and you can see how it turns my hip a little bit. Go about as far as you can comfortably without twisting your whole body. My body should still be in line. And then start to sit your butt back towards your heel. Get in deeper and deeper hip flexion while that leg is turned out in internal rotation with the barbell. I like doing that more than with something like a kettlebell. And after doing a little bit of that, you can come back and retest. It'll really free up internal rotation in your hip, help you get into a deeper squat pain free. So give it a try. Let me know what you think. And also, if you're questioning how much weight you need to put on the bar for this technique, as much as it takes to look cool on Instagram. I should have put more weight on now second guessing my technique. Load that bar up, mobilize your hip, and get into a deeper squat. Thanks.